Hey, what's up, y'all? This is King JB back for part two of this shit. Look, man, I'm going to end the Zufa Zombie thing like this, man. Yes, I love Zufa. Doesn't mean that that's all I watch, man. You know, start thinking logically before some of you cats speak, man. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the radio show is going real well. I want to appreciate and thank all of y'all out there that are all for that. You know what I'm saying? That are listening. Uh, that recognize that... Um, a lot of a lot of people can still maintain in this business together. You know, the truth of it is, is uh, King JB can still coexist with the Bloodstained Lanes and even the little guys like DiBiase. Yeah, I said your name. There you go, bro. Hope you're excited about it. Anyways, you know, I'm not even gonna keep going on about that dude because I, you know, look, man, y'all. Whenever we was beefing with BSL, y'all said what y'all thought about DiBiase. So the truth of it is, I don't feel I have to say anything. Y'all already know the cat. Y'all already got to say what y'all got to say about the cat. Anyway, but we are going to move on, man. A lot of things going on in MMA. Real quick, I want to talk about Chael Sonnen. Uh, Chael Sonnen, man, I really hope he gets his shit together. I hope he's reinstated. He fucked up and he fucked up bad. I ain't going to front. And what the fucked up thing about it is, is he didn't have to. He did the shit to be funny. I'm talking about the line and shit like that. Chael Sonnen's always... Like he's always in front of a camera. And I think that fucked him up. And he is where he is right now. Um, let's see. By the way, in case y'all didn't see it on video one, here's video two. Big ups to Mobster Spike Gear. Make sure y'all check him out. MMA Madhouse right there. Make sure y'all fuck with him. Look, man. Uh, Chael Sonnen, I think, is easily the number two or number three uh, one, you know, middleweight in the world. I think that do I think he can beat Anderson Silva? No, I don't. I didn't. I don't think he can beat. He came close, but he still can't. He didn't win. Period. Um, so I think that with Chael Sonnen, I think that that he just needs to get his shit together, take a break for a second, come back. The I do not. I think he has already paid his price for what he's done, and I think that the commission is just trying to basically make an example out of Sonnen. And unfortunately, that can cost him a lot. Well, I guess we'll find out. I think it's next month he gets a chance to go back. So we'll find out. Uh, a lot of people thought it was going to be a whole year. It's not a whole year. All right. Keeping it moving from Chael Sonnen on to Nick Diaz. Listen, man. I'm going to get hated on for this. Nick Diaz is not. Even though I do have him as my number two welterweight in the world. Let me say this. He's not going to beat George St. Pierre. Get that shit through y'all's head, man. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? I don't like watching GSP fight, but let's be real. He's a beast. You know, regardless of how he wins, just like John Fitch, regardless of how he wins, he wins. All the time. Never loses. Nick Diaz, on the other hand, he's an iffy. You know? I think back to watching, you know, him fight Diego Sanchez and, and and just people way back, you know, and during his UFC stint, and against top competition, he he hasn't shined all that well. Just be real, I think Tyrone Woodley would destroy Nick Diaz. I think he would take him down and beat his face in. Am I right? Maybe not. Maybe who knows? But I think you know. I think Nick Diaz is, has tried to use this as a power play to get to GSP the entire time. From the minute Zufa bought Strike Force. I think he's always wanted this. Uh, he still doesn't want to play the game, as Dana White would say. Uh, do I like Nick Diaz personally, his persona? Yeah, I love I love fighters that, that do what him and Anderson Silva do. I love arrogance in the fighters. I think it's great. I think it's entertaining to watch. But he's... In a lot of ways, made himself sound real stupid sometimes. You know, Jeff Lacey, everybody told Nick Diaz he wasn't going to make bigger money going to box, and then he wouldn't. Now he's got a chance to go to the UFC, and I'm sure that's what's going on, and uh, fight GSP. You realize that this is going to be a one-fight thing for Diaz. What I mean is in terms of being relevant. Nick Diaz is going to get destroyed, probably in a five-round unanimous decision by GSP. And then no one's going to talk about Nick Diaz anymore. 
except for the bad shit. I hope this is not the case because I like Nick Diaz. I hope he I hope he steps his game up, and we'll see. But I just everybody's saying he's the one to beat GSP. I don't see how y'all can believe that because he beat Paul Daly. I love Paul Daly too, but Paul Daly isn't on GSP's level. And I'm sorry, but Diaz's biggest win I'm to date to me is Paul Daly. I don't see anything major. I don't think he could beat Jake Shields. We'll never see that fight, but I don't think he could. Keeping it moving, man. I'm going to move past Diaz because I already know it's going to cause a shit storm of hate mail because everybody everybody loves the bad guy. So do I. I mean, I like him. But then everybody hates Michael Bisping. Michael Bisping, uh, by the way, in my opinion, if he wins his next fight, it should get a title shot. Very, very soon. You know, him or, Van, him or Wanderlei Silva... Him, either Vandal either Vandalay or, or Bisping, I believe, should get the next title shot in the middleweight division. After this Okami shit. I don't fuck Sony. I like him, but fuck him. He's he's shit on the sport for a while, man. Bisping's never received a title shot. Uh Silva hasn't received a title shot. Granted, he hasn't been that impressive in the UFC compared to Pride, but it's Vandy. You know, come on, man, it's Vandy. Now Let's keep it keep it moving past that. Um, basically, there's been a lot of news, a lot of injuries in and out. Y'all saw my interview with Shane Cole. Uh, I, I get I get sometimes irritated at some of the political correctness that some of these MMA fighters feel that they have to use. Um, look, man, you're a fighter. Talk what you really feel, man. I can't stand that fake shit. And I say this shit leading into my next topic, which is Rashad, Rashad Evans and John Jones. John Jones, in my opinion, um, rose the rank, rose to the top a little too too soon for his own good. I think that everybody has got him thinking he's God now, and I think whoever he fights next is going to beat him, whether it's Machida, Rampage, or Rashad. And it's because that John Jones now has been put on a pedestal to where everyone is calling him the next Anderson Silva, better than Anderson Silva, better than GSP, um, the new number one pound for pound fighter. I don't see that. He beat a very good Shogun rule, and that's it, though. That's all I'm giving him credit for, at all. Say what you want, but he still has a loss on his record to Matt Hamill. I know that he didn't really lose that fight. So before you motherfuckers say anything, but it doesn't matter, man. What counts is the numbers, period. John Jones is the best 205er in the world. I'll give you that. But can he be beat? Absolutely. Can he be beat by Rashad Evans? Absolutely. Y'all forget Rashad Evans is 18-1. and one. Rampage, 31-8. and eight. Loyola Machida, 17-2. and two. These are not bums. All three of these men are three of the greatest light heavyweights of all time. And you'll see. Do I think Dan Henderson could beat him? No. No, I don't. Do, do, you know, but John Jones, John Jones, I'll give him his props. He's great. But he's not going to, he's not, like I said, he's not going to be, uh, this ain't going to be some GSP or Anderson Silva type run as champ. You'll see. Because everybody's fucking with his head. Got him thinking he's better than what he is. Now he's just, just dissing Rashad left and right. Look, Rashad Evans, they had a pact to not fight each other. John Jones said he would go against that pact. Now Rashad wants his ass. Now John Jones don't want to fight him. Now he wants to he wants to he wants to let Phil Davis take care of him. And sit back and pray that Phil Davis beats him so he never has to fight John Jones. I mean Rashad Evans. Look, do I think he's scared of Rashad Evans? No. Do I think he respects truly Rashad's talent and knows that Rashad can pull it off? Yeah, I think he knows that. Just my opinion. Um, Rashad Evans, like I said, I, I always hated Rashad Evans. I'm a Rampage fan. I hated Rashad Evans. But in this situation, I have to go with him because John Jones broke the code first. He talked about practice. He did a lot of shit that was just foul and snitched on his boys for the weed shit. So I can't really, I can't really commend John Jones. 
I think as a character, he is fake. And everybody's mad at Rashad Evans because he said fake ass white boy. Why? I, I, I was reading on the underground how people think that John, that Rashad Evans should be disciplined for this text message between him and John Jones. This wasn't in a professional arena, avenue, any of that. This was a text message between two people beat. We can't punish him for that. And I understand what he's saying. The political correctness that John Jones is trying to um, act like he has is very, very political, which is classified as a white person thing. You know, is it, is it necessary racism? No. He, I understand what he's trying to say. Politics is a, is a predominantly white arena. He, he believes John Jones is a politician, in essence. And I agree with him. I think John Jones is trying to clean up his image and have this very wholesome sound to him politically. When in reality, that's why he took him in the club privately and said, I'm going to fuck you up. You know why? Because he don't want that shit coming out of his mouth on camera to where people can say, damn, John Jones is a dick. John Jones, our hero, he's saving robbers, you know, saving people from getting their cars robbed and shit. Fuck John Jones. You know, I think I, I, I had respect for him until everybody fed his head and now he truly believes he's this type of uh, uh, guy to where he can just shit on a teammate and everything. I hate Rashad Evans, but I'm all Rashad Evans in this fight. I hope Rashad gets him and tears his ass up, whether it's in a club or anywhere else. John Jones needs that shit and needs to be brought back down to reality. And really, the truth of it is, John Jones being called a fake-ass white boy by Rashad Evans is between them two. It happened on a text message. This not didn't happen in an interview. John Jones is just was sitting here doing some, some fake-ass internet shit. What I mean is, he's waiting for anything that he can take a picture of and say, Here, look, this is what, John, this is what Rashad Evans does. Get the fuck out of here with that fake-ass bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He's, they're trying to... Just the whole argument is fucking ridiculous. John Jones broke the code, wants to fight, wanted to fight his teammate because he thought it could win him the title. Now that he's already got his title, he doesn't, he doesn't really necessarily want this fight. John Jones needs this fight because no one's going to take him seriously until he actually wins this fight. You know, John Jones, whether it's Madden, I don't believe it's his manager. I believe it's John Jones. Period. He, John Jones, broke the codes, not his manager. Just real shit. This video's about over, you know. Sorry I had to post such, I know this is 30 minutes worth of King JB talking shit. But, uh, I just had a few things I wanted to say. Big ups to everybody out there following, um, MMA Affiliates Radio. Big ups to Bloodstain Lane out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate you coming on the show this coming week. Should be fun. Big ups to MMAMadhouse.com. Big ups to Mobster's Fight Gear. Big ups to Jason London. Big ups to Donald Hoover. Big ups to Air, all my whole city and state here that's trying to do this MMA thing for real. Big ups. Um, and big ups to uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give big ups to Chad E. I don't know what's going on, bro. If our fight's still popping off, man, you've been kind of missing in action. Let me know something, man. If uh, something's going on, I feel you, man. We'll make it happen for another day. Big ups, man. Big ups to everybody out there, man. Big ups to my haters. You know, make sure y'all fuck with MMA Affiliates Radio every Sunday night. I'll tell you what. Just because I'm going to show this fuck boy that I don't give a fuck about him and his competition, make sure y'all listen to whatever the fuck radio show he has on Friday. I'm sure he'll have somebody in the on the show he don't know nothing about. Real talk. I'm out of here, y'all. King JB, MMA Kingdom, MMA Affiliates Radio. I'm out this bitch, man. Holla at me.